Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to PHP React front-end development. Previously, before this video, I talked about custom JS and in this video I'm going to take you through custom CSS. Basically, we are going to do the same thing we did with um, with the custom JS and um, test. And that is it. So without that, let's get started. So I'm, I, I just created a new a new project right now, and we can go ahead and preview this project. Um, all right. So that is our project. Okay. So um, let me quickly, um, um, you know, write down what we are coming to learn in this tutorial. Okay. I want to make this thing big so that everybody can see it and um, class okay so I want this one to be custom CSS and um, uh, copy V we will do about mm, let's leave it three of them the second one is a um, is a script uh, uh, style style tags and um, the last one is a uh, is a uh, reference reference okay Re reference and uh, this reference let's put it in the bucket because it's actually how to render a page page CSS HTML do so that you won't forget it HTML page CSS Alright, so these are the three things we are coming to talk about and I'm going to start with the first one or well, let's start from here bold and uh, test primary all right so that is it we preview this thing like this and it's going to look like this so we are going to talk about HTML page CSS to do that you need to add a file to your assets folder inside this assets locate the folder called CSS then you can do your you know add a new file your CSS file here okay you can quickly click here to add a new file and you select the file you want to add to that folder so I'm going to create I'm going to I like using sublime so sublime I, I also have visual studio code but uh, like you can see it from here but you know um, it's good. I love. It's, it's good to use, but I don't. I'm. I'm not so familiar with it. So I'm going to close this. Yes. No. So I'm going to create a new one, and I'm going to call this file. Uh, is the the type is CSS just like this, and um, I'm going to save it as. Um, we can even quickly locate good assets like this. Come to CSS call it um, new new CSS new just call it new save it like that and we are done we can start our CSS let's say something like let's create a class and this class I will call it love and whenever we type love as a class we want it to be font size we want the font size to be 300 pixels and we want the font weight to be bold and uh, we want the color to be red and we want to save it that's it we are not coming to learn css code okay so we can now preview this and just look at what's going to happen i'm going to type um love over here love okay and i'm going to preview it nothing happened so let's go on and use this format we are talking about so remember that we have added the CSS here. Is, is it here? Let's try to see if it's here. The name is new. CSS new new. Okay, it's here. As you can see, it's here new. So now now we have the file in our CSS folder. Let's come and link it up to that particular page. And remember when you link when you make reference on a particular page is going to have effect on that page only but if you want it to take effect on the entire web application that means you need to reference it either on the header or you reference it on the footer but the best way once CSS is concerned is to reference it on the header so I'm going to do this thing I'm going to do PHP and I'm going to say HTML 
and this HTML we want to do is page CSS and now we type in the part or the name of that CSS which is new dot CSS that is it just like that and we can preview it just look at what is going to happen now the style the style tag has taken the font size of um, the font size of uh, of 300 we can make it 30 pesos and save this okay then come down here to php okay refresh it so you can see it's uh, still down to bold 30. so that is another way of um using css uh how to make use of html page css reference so let's move to script tag oh, no not script tag rather let's talk about style tag it it works equivalent to to this but it works equivalent to html page css reference but the difference is that you are not going to link any external thing here rather you can quickly type the code on that page directly just by doing this and the advantage is that you can use php you know variables and stuff inside it as well so you can type something like style like this and you can say dot love because love is a class we are using it as a class and we want the font the color color to be green green just like that so whenever this love is is going to make it the color to be green and we preview it so as you can see it's green color i don't know if you can notice it but i'm going to make it something very obvious like yellow so that you will see it very well yellow and bold font weight font weight is bold or bolder and font size is a uh, 20 pixel and um and uh, that is it that's it so you can see it's now yellow okay so um let's talk about the last one which is the custom css but before i talk about that one there's another way of using css style so you have customized something like this here love and you want to make use of this class okay you, you it's not much that you have to type a code before you make use of that class i'm going to make this thing red i'm going to make this thing red right and i'm going to clean this thing up as you can see i have created a class here all right and i can use this class even on this page okay all i need to do is make this thing called 12 then type the style or you, you can make it any column width you want but it's very necessary to give it a colon width because um is is already wrapped by a row class okay so you need to give it a colon width s is going to collapse the entire um will i call it a widget or 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 or, or column or, or field or anything so i'm going to call this thing code 12 so that's going to take the maximum width of that screen and i'm going to just type love that is the class we've just created and when we preview it like this everything inside that uh everything inside this guy which you know that this guy is located inside this guy we now have that property of love and you know that we give love the property of the color to be red and um the font width is bolder the size is 30 so it's 20 pixels so that is exactly what i'm talking about so let's clean this up and do something else okay uh preview it so nothing all these things is gone take away this love because it doesn't have any effect again okay so there's a something else i want to show you when this style tag is involved you can you can do something like this you can highlight this thing and just type style and you now start doing your necessary css you don't need to call it something like dot something like dot love and open it up like this no you don't need to do that you just start typing the property immediately something like you can just type font size and you make it bold close it and open another one color and you make it indigo close it open something else you know just start start typing what you want all right and it's going to take effect on anything inside this tag all right so let's preview it and uh she can see that is the color indigo and that is it let's make it a bit bold so that um font size font size uh font size is 100 pixel so that you will notice that exactly it works 
can see it's very big now so that is it the next thing i'm going to talk about is custom css um this custom css uh there's nothing wonderful about it okay there's nothing wonderful about it so let's start doing something we are talking about custom css so let's cut this thing paste it here custom css all right so that you know that we are talking about custom css all right so to have to code with this custom css all you need to do is just come over here and type your code that is it there's no big deal about it i'm going to pick something like this a body home i'm going to pick it paste it here so that it's going to take effect and i'm going to say background to be red and um and that is it read you can see the background is now right and uh that is it that is it so far that's where you can have your css but you can also have your css styling sheet or css code to take effect here even on a line like this all you need to do is um you just close the 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 class tag and you start your style tag like this and you open it up and you can type something like um color color and to be green or let's make it yellow and that will be the last thing we are going to do i will review it so you can see they are now yellow so you might not be able to see it, but you know this for a you know for a tutorial purpose okay it's for the sake of tutorial that's why we are making these things it's not actually we want to build a beautiful application right now but we just want to show something that is very necessary and important to you when it comes to understanding php right so thank you so much for your time in my next tutorial i'm going to start what we call adjust with php right it's going to be massive because um we are going to build an application while we are doing it okay that is the best form of learning as you are building something you are teaching something is best it's perfect but i think that this thing is in, is necessary to complete what we have with basic php rad okay i think this thing are necessary once basic is concerned you need to know all of this so thank you so much for your time